Andy Orfalco, Canine Academy. This episode is going to cover how long it should take a detection dog team to search a, a room, a hotel room, a motel room, a um, two-bedroom, single-story house, uh, an apartment. And um, the truth of the matter, I could just sum it all up. It shouldn't take longer than three to five minutes for most of those rooms. Now, a two-bedroom home with a family room, a den, a dining area, you know, we can get up into probably six, seven, eight minutes at the most. But in most cases, we're talking about uh, three minutes and you should be in and out. So whether you're a customer of a bed bug detection dog or a, uh, a, a narcotics dog handler or a, a supervisor and you're asking these questions as, uh, why does it take 30 minutes to search a room or why does it take so long uh, to search a, uh, a, a motel? Why is it that my bed bug detection dog team tells me that it's going to take, uh, you know, uh, two days to search, uh, you know, 25 rooms at a hotel? Uh, all that is bogus. And uh, I don't know where they're coming up with these numbers or if they are taking that long, why they are taking that long. Now, granted, there are some people that are training detection dogs out there in a very unusual manner that I really don't understand where they're uh, telling the dog to, to seek every, uh, sorry about my phone there, seek every, um, six inches and they're bent over and doing this really slow uh, type of searching behavior. And I, I, I really don't understand where that even comes from. Even if you were to, to, uh, to not know what you're doing, you would have to see that that's not efficient and um, a, a, a good way to continue to, to do that type of job. Now, I, uh, we run certifications over here for all types of detection dogs and I have had uh, people, they're here for certification for a hotel room like the uh, Chase Suites there in Brea, um, where it's just like a, a bedroom that's kind of in a, in a separate room, and then you got your living room area and a kitchenette. And I've had people take 15 minutes inside one of those rooms. It might have even been longer. I, I really think it was more like 20 minutes to search that room. And we had, uh, I think at that time, we had six or seven rooms in that particular certification test. And uh, it took that handler nearly all day <laughs> to search those seven rooms and never made a find and we had two of the rooms were hot so you can still take that long and still not be effective so let's take a couple looks at uh, a look at a couple videos here and I'll show you what my information is based off of the videos you're gonna see are videos I took of dogs that were in uh, the process of cert to find all right uh, I there are um, finds in each one of these videos inside uh, one of the rooms there is another um, video where a handler searches an empty room where there's no finds and then a smaller room where there is a find and so you're gonna see what that kind of looks like I thought it would be boring to show you the handler searching a bunch of empty rooms but just trust me that they are out of there within uh, three minutes uh, of most of these rooms so um, but I want to show you how long it takes to make a find so if there's a find you should know it shouldn't take more than three minutes because most of your finds are being done uh, are being found in less than in less than three minutes so um, let's take a look at the videos and just to kind of show you where uh, why I have this point of view um, and it uh, should be logical but I'm going to show you anyway. So uh, this is for you guys whether you are in need of a bed bug detection dog or a narcotics dog for schools or uh, again you're a supervisor and try to want to answer this question how long should it take for my handler to be doing these things? I'm going to answer the question right now. So here is um, uh, uh, the dog's name is Honey, the handler's name is Lauren. She's uh, searching this hotel. It's a, a Brea Suites hotel. And she begins her search there at the doorway, tells the dog to search. This is, again, certification. She has no idea where the finds are. The dog has not uh, been in this room and doesn't know where the finds are. And the dog already made the find. So we're talking about maybe less than 10 seconds to the time the dog made the find. Uh, by the time she makes the alert, uh, because she wants to be sure, because, again, this is certification. She doesn't want to fail. So she tends to take a little bit longer. And, uh, again, we're, we're having the dog go back to source here to show us and the dog re-sniffs the drawer to confirm again that it's there's something there. We see all the secondary behaviors that we normally see in a dog. So with all that, that took 39 seconds. So with added bonus stuff, uh, it took all of 39 seconds to search this room and make the find. All right, so again, another example, or a one example of uh, being in there longer than three minutes is kind of ridiculous. Here's an office building where there's all kinds of stuff around. This dog is a dog, it's a rookie dog. It's in training. She's less than a year old, and she's um, this is just at the end of her her training uh, with us and his training in the academy. So this is a, a very green rookie dog, 
Uh, dog's doing a great dog job already. You can tell the dog's already an odor in that particular area because it's spending a lot of time in that area trying to locate the odor. Again, she's new and young and, and is learning the process. And as time goes on, this, this will get even better. And for some people watching this, if you have a detection dog, this may be, um, you know, where you would hope your dog would be after being on the street for two to three years. <laughs> this dog is like this from, you know, the beginning. And uh, again, it, it usually gets better as long as the trainer uh, and the handler uh, do their job of maintaining the proper behaviors. So here you see the dog getting older. He's, he's on the fringe, or she's on the fringe. And you'll see here she jumps down and finds source right about now. And you can see the look on her face is completely different. She goes back to source. He calls the alert at one minute and two seconds. And again, this is a rookie dog. This is a dog that is just so new and green to the, to the job um, that a minute and two seconds with a rookie dog is a long time. Uh, when this dog gets experienced, that dog would have had that fine and alerted within 10, 15 seconds inside this room where there's lots of distractions. There's four people, including myself, inside that room. And so those handlers that say they can't search when there's somebody else in the room, completely ridiculous. If they're kicking their customer, if they're bed bug dog handlers and they're kicking their customers out of the room uh, and say, oh, you can't watch the search because you're distracting, totally bogus. If that happens uh, yeah, for you guys that are customers of bed bug detection dog handlers, um, you need to uh, find another detection dog handler. You can surely watch a dog search and it should not distract them if they're trained properly. Here the dog already made the find uh, as far as the secondary signals. It's in the, the chair. This is a very small room. They've already cleared the other room. And there's the alert, 46 seconds of being in that room. Now this is a really small room, so you would expect to be 46 seconds. Actually, I would expect as this dog gets more um, experience, should be uh, 10 seconds, right? The alert will come a little bit faster. All right, here's Honey and Lauren again. Now we're gonna search this room. Remember, this room is empty. Uh, this house has a, a, um, a toy poodle, a female, female toy poodle that lives in this room. Um, wow, the dogs are excited about our little video we got going on here. <laughs> so the handler does a really good job here of stepping in when necessary. What you don't hear, there's a beeper going off inside this home because the battery needs to be changed on the smoke detector. Some dogs that can be distracting, but honey, it doesn't appear to be distracted by that beeping. Here the dog's back on the ground, which is normally a signal to the handler that the dog is searching for dog odor at that point, not searching for bed bug odor. So she gets the dog back on task. And there the dog is sniffing the places where it needs to sniff, keeping his head off the ground, or her head off the ground. Sniffing the cracks and crevices, the cushions. And here she accidentally goes in the room where grandma is laying down with her dog. And again, just another example that even with people in the room, even with dogs in neighboring rooms that are loose, your dog should still be able to search. So uh, again, those of you supervisors or customers of detection dogs, don't let people fool you. The, the, a dog can't do these things because they very well can. So it took a minute, four seconds to clear that room and, and declare it empty of, uh, of bed bugs. And now we're in the smaller room. This is a separate day from the video you just saw, so the height is in a different spot. It's not in that chair any longer. Uh, this is like uh, probably a couple months later. This is a separate certification day. So again, handler steps in because the dog's getting bogged down by the dog odors and she gets the dog back on task, which is her job. That's the job of the handler. Your job isn't to say seek, seek, seek every six inches. It's to monitor your dog and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. See this big behavior change just tells the handler that the dog is in odor because now the tail's wagging faster. Dog licks lips, which is another secondary signal. The handler, again, because of certification, is not necessarily trusting of the dog at this point because of the dog being a little bit slow and distracted by the dog odors. So what she's gonna do, which I applaud her for this, because if she's not sure, she can simply pull the dog away from the find and have the dog begin to search again and see what the dog does. Does the dog go back there again, or the dog just leave it and go search another part of the building? Pulls the dog off, the dog immediately goes back, relocates the source, which is in the middle of that basket, and she sits. So now she rewards. Two minutes, 24 seconds from the time she entered the building, not from the time she started the search of this particular room. Two minutes, 24 seconds since she entered this particular house, a two bedroom home. Uh, and in two minutes, 24 seconds, uh, she found um, the hide in the, in the toys. Now let's say that there's no hide in this room and she would go into that bedroom where the dog is seen going into the, towards the end of that video. Uh, again, add another two minutes. So we got maybe four minutes and 24 seconds when the dog makes the find still under our eight minutes for two bedroom homes. Uh, if this was a hotel, you would have those two rooms, you would have still made that fine under three minutes. So again, 
to focus back on what the task of this particular video is, your searches of these size rooms should be taking three minutes for hotels, motels, um, apartments, uh, a single bedroom apartment, for two bedroom homes, maybe at the most six minutes. I'll give you eight minutes if you can tell me uh, that there's lots of uh, distractions, uh, lots of area to cover and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in a, um, a hoarding location, I'll give you a few more minutes on that. But again, uh, the handler's job is to manage the search well to make sure the dog is searching only those things that need to be searched uh, and, and make sure that the, the things are being done properly. Narcotics detection dogs, which have to search more area, more so than a bed bug detection dog or explosive detection dog, again, add just a couple minutes. But we're not going to be talking 15, 20, 30 minutes to search uh, these types of locations. All right. So I hope this was helpful. I uh, hope I haven't upset anybody too badly, but uh, hopefully this will give you something to work on. If you're a dog and you are taking a really long time in these size rooms, uh, look at your training. Maybe look at the dog and see maybe the dog's not searching uh, efficiently and uh, begin hopefully changing those things about what it is that you're doing. All right. Again, hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking the time. If you have any questions, you can call us at 714-990-9010 or visit our website at falcocanineacademy.com. All right. Take care. Talk to you later.